Hi, I'm Sarah. I am an OBGYN as well as a mom to two under two, and as such have developed some um, survival strategies um, or coping mechanisms um, for getting out and about with two little kids. Um, and one of those things is baby wearing. So there are baby carriers, there's woven wraps, there are stretchy wraps. Um, and so stretchy wraps are one of those things I really like when baby's little um, to get your hands free. I remember when my first one was born, I was so overwhelmed with the wrapping and how to do it. And so I wanted to make a very simple tutorial for you if you are trying to learn how to use a stretchy wrap. All right, so there are a variety of these stretchy wraps out there, different brands, Moby, Solly, Boba, whatever. The idea is all the same. They are long, stretchy pieces of fabric that you can wrap up um, to keep your baby snuggled next to you. So I really like the Moby a little more than I have a Solly wrap too, especially as they, the babies are getting bigger because it's a little bit thicker material, which ends up providing more support as baby gets bigger. Um, they can't sink down as much. Um, I really like the stretchy wrap up till babies are kind of 10 to 15 pounds um, and then they are kind of ready. They kind of need more support um, and sturdier fabric is what I found or a carrier. So to get started, you're going to find the middle of the wrap. All of these wraps usually have some kind of middle marker. Um, the Moby has a printed label here. The Solly has a little fabric tag in the middle, but you want to find the middle of the wrap and you are going to put that at the center of your chest. So now you have two tails of the wrap, one on each side, and you're gonna grab them. First, you take one and swing it up over your back here and bring it over your shoulder, okay? And so it is in front of this chest pass. You're gonna hold the pass at your chest again as you bring the other tail up over your other shoulder, okay? So setup is the most important thing for making this easy. Um, and once you do this a couple times, you can practice with a teddy bear um, is what I did when I was learning. Um, the setup is key. And with this particular wrap, um, what we call a pocket wrap cross carry is the name of the carry. Um, you can kind of get it all pre-tied and ready to go before you even need the baby. So you have brought these over each shoulder, your tails over each shoulder, and it creates an X in the back, okay? You are then going to take the two tails and put them through that horizontal pass, that chest pass that you made. Um, this chest pass ends up being kind of an extra back support or head support for baby. Once you have these tails through, I like to make sure they're kind of straightened out. So like this, Make sure it's straightened out like this. It just makes it easier once you have baby um, and you're wrapping them in. Another trick for this carry is to make sure it is snug. Um, because this is stretchy fabric, um, making it extra snug before you put baby in is really helpful. So you can pull on these tails to make sure it's tight. You can kind of tighten this chest pass by pulling up here at the shoulders and then pulling again. So this is pretty snug. Um, you then, next step is to cross these tails to create an X here. I like to make my X right kind of just above the belly button with because this but the bottom of the X is where baby's little butt's gonna sit. And so you don't want the X down, you don't want baby sagging down to your hips. You don't want them up here in your chin. And so you th where is baby's butt gonna be when you're kind of naturally holding your baby? Eh, right about here. So I do my X there. So cross and then bring those tails around behind you and tie a half knot, okay? If you wanna make sure things are snug, you can tie a full knot now um, or you can wait if you think you're gonna have to make some adjustments to the tightness of the wrap. Once you've done this a couple times, you'll be able to tell, this is how snug I need it, we're gonna be ready to go. So the next thing I do is I kinda stretch things out a little bit to get ready to get that baby, okay? So I can say, yep, this is how much room I need. Um, now I'm gonna go and get that baby. All right, so you get baby. Bo is gonna help us out today um, and we have our X. You turn the baby, face him to you, 
I like to put them kind of up on my shoulder a little bit. Hi, little bud. You are going to grab one leg to put through one part of the X. You come through, you grab the other leg to put through the other part of the X. Now you have the X here crossing under his butt. That's the baby's seat. Hi. Hi, you getting sleepy. Here you go. Here, do you want this bad boy? Here we go. All right, so then you are going to take the first X, what I kind of call the bottom X, because this one is over it, and you pull this across, so it goes from this shoulder to this shoulder, as well as from this knee to this knee across his butt, okay? You do the same thing, hi, with the other X. We pull it across from knee to knee to support his butt, bring it up over his shoulder here. And so now you have a pretty well supported baby. Um, and the last thing you're gonna do is tuck those, so he's legs out. Um, he's in a good position here. You can see knees are above his butt. There is this M position. And the final thing for a little extra support is to grab that chest pass. You have to tuck their legs through if they're bigger, like Bo. If they're little babies, you can leave their um, tiny infants. You can keep their legs tucked in. And then you pull this up to their shoulders for back support. Kind of, how's that? That's your baby all wrapped up. Your hands free. You are ready to go. He's already leaning in here. He's thinking it's a good time for a nap. Um, you can use this for additional head support if you have a tiny little baby. Um, as he falls asleep, you could tuck his head into one side or the other. The wrap, he's a little bigger. Um, he's about the age where I will graduate him to a woven wrap for a little more support. To take baby out of the wrap, you kind of undo what you just did. We are going to bring down this chest pass. We are going to bring over the X pass that is on the outside. You're gonna bring down the X pass that is on the other side. And then, whoop, we pop baby out of the X. Oh. And the other thing that's kind of neat is this is tied and now ready to go. It's kind of poppable, meaning you can pop baby in and out. And so I will sometimes just leave this on all day, pop him in and out, tighten it up a little bit as I needed, but you can have it kind of pre-wrapped and ready to go. So important things to remember for safe baby wearing. The mnemonic um, that is often used is called TICKS, T-I-C-K-S, um, and the T stands for tight. You want baby high and tight in the wrap. The I stands for in view at all times. You always wanna make sure that you can see baby and know what's going on. The C stands for close enough to kiss. He's right up here. Um, the K stands for keep baby's chin off chest. You do not want them slumping in the wrap. You know, sometimes even under this wrap where you can't see them when they're especially little and can't hold their heads up, that chin can be on the chest and cause positional asphyxia. So position again is really important. And the S stands for supported back. So you can see here, he's got a straight back. It's well supported by this, um, the two cross passes as well as this overpass. Um, it's really important. Positioning is really important um, in terms of being in a carrier and their hips as well as their spine. Um, and so you can see he is supported by the wrap from knee to knee. His knees are up above his little butt, kind of this M shape here. Um, and so you can be hands free. Baby can take a nap, baby can hang out. Um, hopefully that helps you get started with your first wrap job. Um, it has been a lifesaver for us. We're doctors. But not your doctors. Anything we've said in this video is for education or entertainment purposes only. It is not medical advice. Any specific medical questions you have should be directed to your provider.